Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me for another video today, or I should more accurately say tonight. Uh, from my video that I posted yesterday on my channel, I stated that I wanted to do a drawing of the lovely Miss O'Kravis. So this is technically part two. And as if you noticed, I started filling in her eyes. Now eyes have definitely been a really tricky area for me. And the most difficult part was figuring out the layering of shading. I always didn't really understand the values of how to get that 3D dimensional effect in the eyes where you can actually see where in the eye light hits and then getting the pupil and then just getting the appropriate level of shading around um, the iris to, to make it look more lifelike, to make it have a little bit more luminosity. I don't even know what particular wording I'm looking for, but just giving it an actual sense of realism. So what I've been doing actually today is actually been watching some videos on YouTube on shading because I know one of the the continuous advices that I see online in regards to portrait drawing and in particular sketches that there's a few factors that you should consider but definitely one of it is lighting and shading can definitely help with bringing your um, 2d picture to life so I'll actually show you what I'm actually watching as far as a YouTube video to help with that. So this is uh, the video that I'm watching and it's probably one of the best that I have seen as far as getting accuracy. And if you can see, this artist is actually starting to shade in his subject's eye. Now, I unfortunately don't have all the pencils that he has that he's using to shade in the eye there but I find it actually really helpful as far as getting the nitty-gritty of the principles involved okay so I've gone ahead and started just shading in a little bit more but I think for tonight I'm going to actually Instead of just complete the sketch, I'm going to do a lot more watching of um, videos about shading and getting more inspiration on how to make my pictures come to life and have a little bit more realism. So the channel that I was watching was called Sketch and Shade and the video was Drawing Realism and Shading Skin Tones Tutorial. So I think I'm going to continue that and probably do some stuff off camera and then I'll do another video tomorrow and then I will most likely complete my sketch of Zoe tomorrow. But for tonight, I actually would rather do a little bit more studying online and some more uh, video research, <laughs> if you will. But thank you for joining me for this video tonight as I just document what I'm doing. Hope to see you next one. Peace.